but does sugar affect behavior? Study after study has failed to show any relationship. What some people think is we were focused on the sugar <coughs> in that cherry Kool-Aid and we were missing that it was the red dye. Or we were focusing on what we thought was sugar, but there are other chemicals in prepared foods, in everything, and it might be something else. How frequent is this? Are children on the autism spectrum being identified? It has become even more common, moving from 1 in 110 down to 1 in 88. So there's a fine line in trying to determine who you're going to treat and who you're not. Most of us in kids that are less than two years old, they're going to be more at risk for, for developing the complications and so for those kids, um, we just assume that it's bacterial and we go ahead and treat it. But for older kids, you know, who are generally healthy without any underlying chronic illnesses, who um, just have ear pain for, you know, a couple of days and we look and yeah, there's an ear infection, um, oftentimes we will say give it a few more days before we start an antibiotic. But you know, once, you, once you've had five to seven days and they've had fevers that whole time, um, you know, most of the time giving an uh, antibiotic does, and it ends up being that it was a bacterial ear infection, the antibiotic does make a difference for them. On a daily basis, I usually tell my parents two to three glasses, sometimes four if that child doesn't eat any yogurt or cheese. And for a kid, we're not talking eight ounces. We're talking four to six because they're smaller than we are.